Maris Breeders defeats Simon Valili via third round TKO. Valili acquitted himself fairly well, I would say, in the first round and a bit. He was using what seemed to be his longer reach to have a little bit of success at long range. And Breedis was kind of missing and falling short a little bit in the early going. But Valili had this rushed look about his work. Like he was a bit too amped up, a bit too hyper. And that caused him to make mistakes. And not only that, he was in there with a more experienced fighter and a fighter that had better technique. Valili's punches, particularly his right hand, looked a little sloppy. And I know Valili's a guy who apparently was on the GB squad as an amateur, but still, I thought he was lacking a little bit in terms of punch technique. And because of that, because of that slightly sloppy way that he throws the right hand, he wasn't really able to capitalize on that long reach as much as I guess he would have liked to. And Breedis, with his better technique, his more experience, better schooled, he started landing cleaner shots, particularly to the body and eventually to the head. And he managed to get a third round stoppage. It was the result that was supposed to happen because for those of you who don't know, Maris Breedis is the mandatory challenger for Tony Bellew's WBC World Cruiserweight title. And this fight right here was only an eight rounder. That was what it was scheduled for. So it was never intended for Simon Valili to come in and actually win the fight. <laughs> they might have been talking about that pre-fight, but realistically, this was intended for Maris Breedis to come in there and give a showcase, really and help to promote and set up his fight with Tony Bellew. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with this Bellew fight, whether it's going to happen before Bellew fights David Hay or after, because the WBC, as far as I'm aware, haven't yet made any type of public ruling or judgment about it. Remember, the David Hay Bellew fight will be a non-title fight at heavyweight. That's right, Belly's talking about fighting Hay at heavyweight now. No more catchweight, and obviously Hay is not willing to come down to cruiserweight. So I don't know what the WBC going to judge on the situation, whether they're going to force him to fight, whether Belly that is, whether they're going to force him to fight Breedis first, or whether they're going to allow him to fight Hay and then fight Breedis afterwards. I don't know. But either way, I thought Breedis' performance was the performance to be expected. Some people are going to pick holes in his performance and say, well, he showed this weakness and that weakness. And as I always say, all fighters have got weaknesses. Personally, I think he did well enough. And Valili is a very tall, <clears throat> rangy kind of fighter. I don't think Bellew has the kind of reach that Valili has. So I don't anticipate Bellew giving Breedis as much awkwardness, let's just say that, from the outside. <clears throat> as Valili was able to, at least in the early going. So drop your comments in the comment section below, people. Let me know how you felt about Marius Breedis' performance. What do you think about him as a fighter? As you know, I'm somebody that's been quite impressed by Breedis in his past few fights. <clears throat> the first time I actually watched him was when he knocked out uh, Manuel Char with a tremendous uppercut. I mean, that was a wicked shot. Just knocked Manuel Char out cold. And I was even more impressed with him the next time I saw him when he beat uh, Ola Duradola. That was a, a very good performance as well against Duradola, the guy who had knocked out Kudri Ashoff in two rounds and also been the distance with uh, Tabiso Machunu. So I've been impressed with what I've seen from Breedis so far. And I personally would make him a favor over Tony Bellew. I'm not saying Bellew don't have a chance in that fight, but I would personally make him a, a, a favor over him. I think he's a, a bit more talented. Both of them can punch. I mean, we see now Bellew's punching power at Cruiserweight really, really has improved. And he's back to how he was as an amateur. And I've spoke about him years ago on my old channel about how Bellew was a really dangerous puncher in the amateurs when he was fighting at heavyweight, which is 200 pounds, the equivalent to Cruiserweight in the professionals. So yeah, I, I give Bellew a decent chance as well, but I'd be favoring Breedis at this stage. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you felt about Breedis' performance. And how do you think he would do against Bellew? And if you've got any more information about whether or not the Breeders fight is going to happen next, then please enlighten us all in the comment section below. All right? It's your boy Hatman. I'm out. Thanks for watching.